Kenny C, how you doing, brother? I'm good. How, how are you? Doing wonderful, thanks. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined with uh, singer-songwriter. He's back on the show for the second time. And as a matter of fact, he got added to the show on a short notice. And uh, he's here right now. So Sam, welcome back under these circumstances. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for having me. I've been doing good. Well, yeah, yeah. Doing pretty good, man. Great to have you back on. Uh, so, talk about, man, how you been since the previous interview. How you been? I have been busy, busy, busy. <laughs> been running all over the country with my buddy Wade Jennings and uh, touring all over the place. All right, mm -hmm. so... Awesome. So... Let's start with that, um, with the tour. Um, busy, going show to show, venue to venue, city to city, state to state. I mean, so, just so much, um, you know, just a lot of um, crowds and and just just atmosphere, things of that nature, man. That, that has to be pretty cool, man, just going in the world, going to these different cities and venues, man. Um, uh, how long have this tour been going on, uh, with you? Uh, well, we've been touring, uh, on and off over the last year, and we're kind of joining up a little bit more for me to be his opener more frequent, frequently now, luckily. And, um, uh, it's, yeah, so probably the last year we just did a bunch of running and joining up, but a lot more of this coming here so I'm grateful for that sure and the towns and crowds are always great and it's always a different batch and you learn so much on the road and meet so many cool people and it's a hell of a job i tell you that <laughs> yeah it's 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 definitely a job indeed um uh, and it just feels like whew, that's that's the beauty um just getting to to meet different people and, and be in these different places, uh, it's it, it definitely got to be a lot of fun. You, you go to these shows and you're performing, and people singing word for word, and just um, getting getting familiar with with your music and everything. So, um, and obviously, we get into the warmer months of the year. Thank goodness. Um, oh no. We we don't we don't made it past these cold days and weeks and months. So definitely feels yeah. like the weather's literally starting to pick up. It's kinda like the tour man, this it's really starting to pick up. More shows on the way, more events, more venues, more traveling to do. Um so as far as, you know, for the tour man, the tour aspect, um, I will ask you this, man. Um, how was you? Um, what's your favorite part of touring? Um, the the whole experience. Is it the traveling? Is it going to the building? Is um, what what's your favorite part of of just going through the tour experience? Um, of course, playing is always enjoyable. But we spend a lot of we have a lot of good times when we're not on the stage too, and get to enjoy each other's company a lot more. And just uh, whether it's sightseeing or going to a new place to swim or a new beach or a new somewhere and we've never been. And um, any kind of restaurant we enjoy, steak and seafood <laughs> when we can. <laughs> and uh, we love enjoying new restaurants. And I guess the main thing, we end up songwriting when we're on the road, too. That's always fun because you never know when it's going to happen. You'll be riding down the road in Winnebago and then I'll be yelling for a guitar and someone will be yelling for a paper and pencil and <laughs> you never know what's going to happen almost. And that that's always a surprise and enjoyable experience for sure. And being in good company is key. So I definitely got that. Good road family. Yeah, definitely. Well, well, with a tour like that, you gotta be around people that's gonna give you the, that good energy, 
get the good vibes going. You know, it could be overwhelming right. at times, and you know, you gotta have, you got you gotta get the laughs in, and you know, just just let it all sink in. Um, you know, you're fulfilling your dream, and you get to right. um, showcase your 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 gifts and everything. So um, definitely feels like y'all having a lot of fun out there. So obviously, yeah. um, with this tour, you're performing old music, and from what I've heard, you're performing some new music as well. Um, a little birdie told me that uh, you was recently back in the studio um, and about to start having some new music on the way. Talk about this new music you've been working on. Yeah, we got an album coming out, and um, I have one more studio session on uh, next week. Do one final tweak, and then we'll have a release date. And uh, I'm gonna title the album "Live That Line," which is my main song that I've been pushing this past year and getting crowds to know. They're familiar with it and love it and request it. And sing along, and but there's a handful of great songs on it. And a few writers, and uh, it's all just been a blessing. Really. I've been super excited and I've been waiting so long and the fans have been waiting so long. They've been just patient with me. I just couldn't be more patient almost. It's just, it's a lot of work into it and years and years almost of work for me. And, um, but now that's about to see the light, you know, I'm anxious and nervous at the same time, but I'm excited and happy. So it's, it's almost like holding a trophy up for me. Uh, I finally got to the end of the race, I feel like, with this project. Yeah, that, that NASCAR feel. Um, um, so the last song that you put out, it's back in 2021, a song called Another Day, um, which, by the way, okay. you can check that out on all the platforms, uh, American Rally, uh, and uh, she got the truck. Uh, she's the, the truck for me. Um, yeah. those are your um, songs that are available on all the platforms. Um, so yeah. while you moving, while you hitting the road, city to city, things like that, um, I see you're gonna be making a stop to CMA Fest uh, in uh, June next month. Um, I see that you will be doing the meet and greet signing at Kuda's place. That's doing CMA Fest week. Uh, yeah. So, so that's 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 one of the biggest events. Um, the CMA Fest. That's one of the highly anticipated events for country music in general, man. So talk about this, the whole festivities um, that you're about to go through on CMA Fest. Well, like you said, we'll be down at Cooters. Uh, but Dukes has a crew down there, and we've been real close with them. It's ways uh, Granddad did the theme song for Dukes of Hazard. That's how that kind of all plays out. A lot of great people on board there, and um, they've been real kind to me. They're kind enough to let me come down and be part of it. And they're over located near, just outside of the Broadway area, Music Valley, they call it. And um, most of it's easy to find. A great location over near the Nashville Palace. And um, I know we'll be posting some show times too. It'll go around it kind of. Everything kind of comes on the fly during CMA Fest. And stuff gets added all the time too. So we'll be posting and keeping everybody up to date on our Facebook page and um, have that going. So, but it's definitely an experience. There's so much good music going on all at one time, so you can't and you can't get enough. So we'll be out there in mean way. We'll be signing our grass and taking pictures and shaking hands, getting to know everybody. Okay, so check them out. Sam Lowell and his band doing a meet and greet and signing at Kuda's place. 
during CMA Fest Week, June 9th from 3 to 5 p.m. Um, so that's there's a lot going on in that week. A lot of artists, mainstream, local artists, independent artists. Um, it's country music galore, um, as you can say. Uh, so if you're looking for something to go while you're enjoying the festivities, stop by the coolest place, say hello to Sam and company, and uh, he'll be performing at that week as well. So just keep an eye out on um, social media sites at uh, Sam Low Music. That's Low with an E, L-O-W-E, uh, Sam Low Music on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, and uh, he'll keep y'all posted on further uh, information as it pertains to that meet and greet and future events that uh, Sam will be performing. And as he pointed out, he does have new music on the way. So, and you know, if you come to a show, you might hear some of the new music for everybody else. Um, that's the beauty of going to these shows. So you can get first dips, get a feel of what to expect from this new music, pretty much. And that's it. It's always a good time. It's a lot of energy in there, always. Just a blast. Way, way also just released a new single, or it's coming out in a few days. It's called Wild Child, and it is an awesome song. I wrote it with my buddy Wes Ship. They did a hell of a job. So you'll see that. I'll be posting on that too. So. All right. Um, Wild Child, the new single from Sam Lowe coming on the platforms this Friday. So, um, so go be on the lookout uh, uh, for that. Um, that's, that's Wade Jennings. Wade Jennings single. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, check that out. Um, Sam, man, I want to thank you, man, for being on the show, man, uh, under a uh, short notice. I uh, appreciate your time, man. Um, Y'all yeah, check him out, Sam Low Music, um, on Facebook and on Instagram. And uh, be on the lookout for the new music, the new single coming uh, this Friday. And also the Cooter Place, Cooter's Place meet and greet during CMA Fest, June 9th, 3 to 5 p.m. Uh, make sure you uh, check that out, man. And uh, stop by, say hello to Sam and company, man, and uh, take some pictures and sign some autographs and uh, keep yourself busy on a very busy CMA Fest. And uh, again, he'll be performing um, during that week as well. So keep an eye on social media for more info. Uh, Sam, great having you back on the show, cashing up with you on some things. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing sure. this new I single. Love chilling with Kenny C. Yeah, absolutely, brother. Um, shout out to and shout out to Jill, Nashville Entertainment Weekly, uh, to TJ and to everybody um, from Nashville Entertainment Weekly. Awesome uh, group of people that promotes independent artists like yourself. Um, thanks again for your time, man. I look forward to the new music and everything, and uh, appreciate your time. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it all.